In the truer parametric 8.0, you will use many features during your part modeling journey. But today we are going to learn about the most usable feature, which is the intersect feature. To use this intersect feature, you will require here two curves from the two different planes. So to start with, first I will select here front plane and then sketch. And here, let's make it normal. And I will draw one curve here. So I'll start with the line. Then one arc. Like this. And again, like this. Okay. Now let's make this two tangent. This two are also tangent. Let's make this arc and this line also tangent. Okay. So now let's define some dimensions here. R60. This one also R60. Then delete this equal constraint. and drag it here, this one also here. Let's make it 50 mm and also select dimension. This distance we will give 50 mm and okay. So that's it, our first curve is ready. Let's click on middle mouse button and then okay. Then our second curve will be on the right plane and then sketch, make it normal and here we will create again, first let's select here references, so I will use this curve as a reference and then close. Let's again make it normal. And let's start with your line. Okay, then one arc like this. Then again a line horizontal. And make this line and this arc tangent. Same here, it is tangent. Okay. Now this distance we have to give 100 mm. Then this should this radius should be R70. Then from the dimension, this height we have to give 50. It is already no need to give it. Okay. So here our two curves are ready. Let's make it okay. Now from these two curves, we are going to use here intersect features. So to start with, first I will select these two sketches and then select intersect. And you can see this intersecting curve, which is forming from these two curves. Okay. Here you can see this is our intersecting curve and this is our sketch one and sketch two. So let's again hide this two and now just let's switch to create here one pipe like profile. So I'll select here sweep, select this intersecting curve, then sketch a circle, then make it normal and let's draw a circle like this. So to the first circle, let's give diameter of 30 and to second, let's give it 45 diameter. Okay. Now you can see this pipe. Then just click on OK. So our sweet profile you can see. Now, let's hide these planes. 
and also let's hide this intersect curve. Okay, and let me make it shading with edges so that it looks nice. Okay, now I'll select this face, then sketch, and then normal. First, let's select your reference. I'll select this edge, then just close it, circle, and up to here. Let's make it 70, 80 mm diameter. Okay, let's extrude this in a reverse direction and 20 mm. Okay, same we will do on this side also. TMM okay and then extrude this reverse direction and 20 mm okay so that's it our model is ready so I hope you like this tutorial and you have learned how to use this intersect feature thanks for watching